Many people have actually seen UFOs, but it is currently impossible to prove what they saw to the public. Then how far has Happy Science got in its research? In America, there have been reports of alien abductions. When it happens, the person would usually have a memory loss and forget everything. Later, they would experience sleeping problems, memory disorder, and some abnormal bodily conditions. And in many of the cases, after some research, it would become apparent that they had experienced some kind of abduction. The number of such reports is very huge, and is something I cannot believe. But it is said that millions to over 10 million Americans have experienced abduction. Since the number is so large, we cannot easily believe in it, but it shows that many people have experienced it. And recently, we have been hearing many of such cases in Japan also. This is something that is happening today all around the world. People have taken footage of the UFOs and have found landing traces of them. Also, it is commonly reported that there are people who appear to have been abducted at one point and were experimented on. But Happy Science is saying that this is not something which only just begun. It is true that some life forms were created on Earth, and Earthlings were created in a form suitable for Earth. I have taught about this in our books and as movies, too. So long ago, there were earthlings that were created on Earth as your ancestors. But at the same time, I have been teaching that that isn't the whole story. I have written that there are many beings which were brought onto Earth from other galaxies or other planets. This occurred a very long time ago, and my teachings date as far back as hundreds of millions of years ago, so the scale is very grand. But my main point is that humanity already existed on Earth during the time dinosaurs were around. And this humanity consisted of both Earthlings that were created on Earth and space people that came from the universe after some amendments were made so that they could survive on Earth. Modern sciences of today are talking about how space people and people on Earth are beginning to encounter each other. But space people didn't only just come. They have already been brought to Earth in the distant past. And parts of them have actually naturalized and have become our ancestors. And we are now tracing back to how they came to be. However, the history I am talking about goes further back. I have explored as far as to discover that the cultural genes of various planets came to be, informed the differences of race, nation, religion, and philosophy. I think this is something that only happy science can do.